Hey y'all, I am just starting some um, soup that I'm doing as a meal prep. This is a Weight Watchers recipe, so if you are a Weight Watchers member, you have access to this in your recipe um, files in your app. It's the mushroom barley soup, three points as written. I always take liberties when it comes to a recipe, and uh, I'm just getting it started in my Ninja Possible Cooker. So I've been sauteing, I just started five minutes ago, and I added in some frozen, already prepped chopped onion. I always keep some onion already chopped. When I get a whole bag of onions, I chop them and um, real fine and put them in the freezer in baggies and can just break off a hunk um, and uh, use that. So I've got my carrots and my onions. They're just starting to saute in here and get cooked down. Um, so yep, just break apart the, the onion that's frozen and uh, it'll start to get sauteed and softened. Once those are softened a little bit, then we'll be ready to keep working on that soup. All right, so I'm ready to keep moving with the recipe. Um, the vegetables have softened. I didn't add the celery because I didn't have any. Um, so this is um, mostly carrots. I like carrots. Um, I'm not so fond of celery in soup, um, but you can add your celery in or any other veg that you think will go well with mushrooms and barley. So at this point, you would add in a half cup of white wine. I uh, We're teetotalers at our house, so I'm gonna just use a half cup of the beef broth. So I'm just gonna add that in and you're gonna let that continue to kind of cook down a little with the veggies. Um, and just another few minutes, you want some of that to reduce with the with the vegetables kind of make a, you know, with the wine, it would be a little different probably and cook down, all the alcohol would cook out. We just don't have any in our house. So um, you can always use chicken broth. Um, I think in the recipe, they said you could sub out um, water with some white wine vinegar, I think in here. Um, I've never done that. I'm worried it would give too much of a vinegar taste, but to each his own, you do what you like. All right, we'll let this simmer down a little bit, reduce by, I think, to like one quarter. What did it say? Yep, until liquid is reduced by one fourth. So just a little bit, a couple more minutes, and this will be reduced down. And then we'll add the rest of the broth. All right, so um, the recipe calls for beef broth, but I'm actually just gonna use some beef bouillon cubes. But I also just wanted to try out, I had gotten these um, from Walmart. It's like a tomato based with chicken flavor. So I put two of these in, which is about four cups of water to, it's two cups of water to one of the little blocks. So I wanted four cups total, so put two blocks in, and then five of the little beef bouillon cubes. And I've got those in, a lot of water right here, letting them kind of soak in some hot water. I'm about to add them in to uh, the Ninja Possible Cooker um, to keep going. All right, so we have let this reduce down, and at this point, I'm gonna add in nine cups of broth. Ooh, that's a lot. And like I said before, I used the bouillon, and then I also added some tomato-based bouillon. Um, from Noor, that's the brand I used for that. Um, I love their chicken uh, base, the little cubes, I think they're great. All right, so there's our broth. We're gonna go ahead and add in its, this is a third of a cup. Now this is actually interesting because this is the quick barley and I have no idea, I've never used this before. I couldn't find the pearl barley, so it says a, for for like to have half cup servings or a whole cup serving is a lot more than it's requiring for this recipe. It's only a third cup of the pearl barley. So I'm gonna actually put in a full cup and we'll see what happens. So there's a third. We may end up with a lot more barley than we bargained for, but barley is really good for you. I love beef barley soup, so that's why I kind of wanted to try this. It just has the beef broth, though, no actual meat in it. Um, so we'll try this, and we'll let this cook for, if you're doing it on the stove top, it says 45 minutes before you go to the next step. Um, I'm using the Ninja Possible, so I'm going to let this go for probably an hour or so, and then we'll check it. 
All right, so the broth and barley and all that's been cooking in the slow cooker for a couple hours. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my mushrooms. And uh, um, what I realized was I actually should have had twice the amount of mushrooms, but that's okay. Um, live and learn. And uh, um, But now I'm adding the mushrooms in. I'm gonna go ahead and reset the slow cooker to go for another hour at least. Um, and we'll see how everything looks. Um, the barley has started to kind of plump up. Um, but this is my first time ever cooking with barley. So um, we'll see what it looks like in an hour. If we need to, we'll add another hour in the slow cooker um, and go from there. See you in an hour. All right, so my soup is done and I'm definitely gonna say the, the one package of mushrooms is not enough, but look look at that barley. It's plumped up beautiful. Um, a nice hearty soup. Definitely um, a soup that you know, you're gonna want something else to go with it. Um, I'm not sure how filling this is gonna be for my lunch, but I think it smells fantastic and I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and um, get it into my meal prep containers let it cool completely, pop it in the freezer so it's ready to go um, each morning, grab my lunch and go. And uh, I just constantly meal prep different things. Um, I'll have a couple more items that I'll meal prep so that I always have a nice stash of frozen lunches that are not full of sodium. Um, this one's definitely got a little bit of sodium in it from the, the bouillon. Um, but still, I can control how much um, is going into my diet. And, uh, um, but this just makes a nice, easy grab and go lunch. Um, you could definitely add maybe um, some crackers, some nice holy crackers, or um, yeah, over here, you don't probably wanna say, I have some fresh homemade bread over in there um, that's for dinner tonight. And uh, you could definitely, because this isn't gonna be too many points on Weight Watchers, three points um, for the serving. Um, so if you have the, if you're a, a member of Weight Watchers, you can go on and look up um, this mushroom barley soup and uh, try it out for yourself. But I'm going to go ahead and get these prepped into my meal containers and, uh, um, and maybe I'll, I'll do a video where I actually have it for lunch one day at work.